other than wins and losses, the most common statistic you will see to compare one pitcher to another is his earned run average. His earned run average. And, and, and usually that this would be shortened and we would just say his, his ERA. So what an ERA is, is a, a number that tells you that based on what how a pitcher has pitched so far, it's the, the average number of runs that he would give up over a nine inning over nine innings or, or one you know complete game so how do we find the era first thing you do is you would take the number of earned runs that that you know particular pitcher has has given up and you would divide that by the number of innings that he has pitched innings pitched and so what this would 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 give you if you just did this part is you know the, that's the the average number of runs that he has given up in one inning, but ERA is is for a whole game, and so so then what we would do is take that and we would multiply it by nine, and 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 that would give you your ERA. So because you know there are are nine innings in in a, a regulation game, so I I, I got went out on the, on the internet and and I got. An example here that, that we can we can run through. It's a pretty simple mathematical thing, but just to, to make sure you, you you got it covered. So in in I picked out a guy named Babe Ruth, and he was a pretty good baseball player. And he's more known for his his pitching or his he's more known for his hitting, but he was actually a pitcher too. And so in in 1917, Babe Ruth he gave up 73 earned runs. And and that was in in 326 innings pitched. So so we would take 73 and we divide it by 326, and that's whoop, that's going to to give us 0.2239. And so then we would take take that number and we we're going to multiply it by by nine. And then what that would give us is is 2.01, and and we generally the ERA is rounded off to to the second digit. So so 2.1 is is Babe Ruth's ERA for that year. I think it was 1917. And so th this is a pretty good ERA to have. Generally, when when a pitcher's ERA is is under is under three, or is, is three and under. That's a, a, a pretty good figure to have because you know that means that you're giving up. On average, he would be giving up three runs or less, and so hopefully your offense will be will be you know powerful enough to to get you at least three runs.